Welcome to the CTS Learning Series, Chapter 6, Testing an OSS UOC Example. In this chapter, we will explain the differences in testing OSS UOCs and non-OSS UOCs, explore the CTS's OSS graphical user interface, demonstrate the construction of an OSS toolchain, demonstrate an OSS conformance test, and review the testing result. This chapter has the notable exception of all UOCs for face segments that are non-OSS UOCs. This is intentional, as the project configuration builder for OSS UOCs contains a different user interface than non-OSS UOCs. Furthermore, the theory of testing an OSS UOC is slightly different than testing other types of UOCs. Demonstrations of non-OSS UOC conformance tests are contained in Chapter 5. Unlike Chapter 5, we will not be testing BALSA's OSS UOC, which is a Configuration Services OSS UOC. Instead, we will be testing the GNU C++ standard libraries for phase conformance on CentOS 7. It should be noted that GNU's C++ standard libraries are not phase conformant but provides most of the functions necessary to execute face applications. This will be explored in video 4 and video 5 of this chapter. Thank you for watching. This concludes the introduction. In the next video, entitled Differences in Testing OSS UOCs versus Non-OSS UOCs, we will explain the differences in testing process the CTS goes through to test OSS UOCs.